depression, anxiety. She went to coma after overdosing on sleeping pills. It was very painful and it is still painful. I'm playing that everything is cool, but what do you mean by dolls for big boys? He provides you the best contracts. Going backward, 1992 to 1972, childhood. What was happening at her early childhood? Welcome to Action Explorations. We are a community of psychodrama and action methods enthusiasts, clinicians, coaches, educators, and curious people that use this method in personal and professional life. Hi, I'm Anna Bobikova. I'm starting a new series, Psychodramatic Investigation. The purpose of this series is to introduce to this wonderful action method psychodrama and to discuss the benefits in entertaining way with those who know this method and use it in their life and work. This video is going to be about one of the top models of 1990s, Karen Mulder, in her story of her trauma and post-traumatic growth. I do not pretend that this is a true story. I did not study this story in details. Everything what I say is just my imagination. Maybe it matches the true story, maybe not. My idea is just to take the overview of the story and show how the method works and how we can utilize it, not only as therapy method, but just to understand people better, to take the roles of the people. This is my main goal. So the story is going to be shown through my subjective lens and the ideas of psychodrama method application. And I'll be doing the video in regular psychodramatic structure. Warm up, action, and sharing. Warm up to the story. Karen Mulder, Dutch model, actress, and singer. She's 52, will be 53 in June. Oh my God, how beautiful is this woman? By the way, comment below. Do you think when you are beautiful, is it a gift or it's opposite? It's bringing you troubles in your life. I really loved all the models of 1990s. There were like about only 10 of them. It was not difficult to keep an eye on them. And oh my God, these girls were like symbolizing the power of the world. And by the way, they are my generation. Fashion at that moment in 1990s was like an art. I miss that time in some way. I do not see such beautiful fashion art in these days. Maybe it is just because it was my young age. Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista, Claudia Schiffer, Karen Mulder. These girls put the foundation for the world of glamour and wore all representation of the flawless beauty, dictating the beauty standards to the world. Do you remember famous Linda's quote? I don't even wake up for less than 10,000 a day. Wow, for me at that moment, it was like, oh my God. These girls were God level people. It was their image. At that moment, I was thinking, they are such powerful women. I had no ideas that that confident gait and body posture hide depression, abuse, addiction, anxiety, and self-doubts. Action. Imagine we are all in one psychodramatic therapeutic group, and we are going to listen Karen's story. I'll offer here Karen to double her. So what is doubling? This is our first psychodramatic technique. I'll offer her to be her internal voice. And I'll tell her, Karen, may I be your internal voice? If it fits, please repeat it. If it doesn't, please make your own statement that feels right for you. This is Claudia's doll. Mm -hmm. And this is Naomi's doll. Cute. Aww. And this is my doll. Fabulous. Aww. And they just, you know, we've just made these. Everything is good. I've done a lot of work. See this doll that represents me? She's happy and not. She's vulnerable as I am. I've had a lot of trauma during my life. I was so alone, nobody could help me. Are these dolls for little girls or for big boys? 
Uh, I think initially... Well, here we are again. This phrase triggered me. I'm playing that everything is cool, but what do you mean by dolls for big boys? Could you please clarify? It makes me angry. I can't even imagine to let these dolls be in the hands of people who I was with. I'm scared and I want to protect the dolls. My doll represents my wounded child who needs compassion. And I would like people to know my story. It is so devastating. And I hope people can know me better, know my story and get their healing through my story. But I think oh. that a big boy like <laughs> me can have those girls with me. Honestly, this is not fun for me. I doubled this way since I know her story and we would hear from her if we would be in the group with her. We just imagine what she says. Let me double and then imagine what she says. I will sleep with them. Which one has uh, bigger boobies? That's very personal. I've done a lot of personal work and I would like to do more. And this doll is a very important figure for me. In our discussion today, I would like to rely on TSM, Therapeutic Spiral Model, Trauma Work Model. Years ago, therapists, when they had the hypothesis, this is trauma or traumatic event, they would put the patient right away back into traumatic event, reenacting trauma or traumatic event. That would re-traumatize the client. Today, clinicians have much more effective ways to work with trauma, with the safe models, and one of them is TSM, Therapeutic Spiral Model. Dr. Kate Hudgens is the founder of this model, and I'm going to refer to this model today a lot, since we have the course on this model. About the model, the clinical map of this model includes three stages. First stage is all about building up safety. And everyone know today that before working with trauma, the most important for the person to feel safe. And this model uses a lot of prescriptive roles. So first stage is building safety. Second stage is trauma work through trauma triangle roles. And third stage is post-traumatic growth. And they have post-traumatic growth roles. If we would be in the group with Karen, I would prescribe her observing ego role first. This is TSM role. Strengths and doubles, body and containing double. Observing ego role, neutral, non-judgmental role, internal role. And this is one of the key roles in a TSM model. This is one of the first roles which is prescribed to people. The most important, the purpose of this role is create this neutral observer that states what's going on, what's happening today, what's happening right now, non-judgmentally without shaming or blaming. So let me show you, Karen is here. I'm her observing ego. And at the beginning, so we train Karen to be this neutral observer. And then she goes into this role. And then she goes back into Karen's role in herself. And I'm observing ego telling her. So we imagine that Karen was already in observing ego role. And now she's listening from me. We do the role reversals. You are almost 53. You've been through a lot of stuff. You are a very strong woman. It looks like you were triggered today again. You've done a lot of work and it looks like there is a lot in the future that can be done for you, by you. And we roll reverse. As many role reversals as Karen needs to get into the role of observing ego. And usually this is what Kate Hudgens always say, you might spend sessions, months and years to even est just establishing this role, but it is so important to create this role of non-judgmental voice, internal, non-judgmental, no shaming, no blaming voice. When it is good enough, then Karen can move forward. But this neutral figure is very, it's like cornerstone. It is neutral figure inside 
internal role is crucial. So then we can introduce Karen to her strengths. It might be done individually or in the group, it might be a circle of strengths, personal, interpersonal, or transpersonal strengths. She will need to spend some time in discovering your, her own personal strengths and feel them because she will need in her future to use them and be like filled in with these strengths. So she would be strong enough. Be with them. Let her be with them. Next row is doubles, body double, containing double. Here is the module on doubling. Also very important roles for establishing safety and feeling confident for the future. Give you an idea, let me be Karen's body double. So the body double is the, the purpose is to make person grounded, be inside the body, be connected with the body right here, right now, inside the body and feel the body. Do not dissociate, do not leave the body. I'm Karen, 52 years old. I'm sitting on the chair right here, right now, and breathing. I can look around. I see the window in front of me. Breathing, I feel my feet on the floor grounded. I feel grounded and I am inside my body. Again, building safety for the individual with trauma is the most crucial detail in trauma work and you might spend sessions, months, years on establishing that. You cannot work further without it. It might take years for Karen to build it up, but it's worth it. So in the course, modules one to seven, talk specifically about how to build up safety prior working on trauma. And sometimes that's enough. Sometimes you don't even need to move forward. That's already a huge piece of work. So it means on this stage, Karen would receive the prescriptive roles. Crucial roles are autonomous healing center. You can see about that in the course. Observing ego, we talked about that. Strengths, internal strengths, doubles. There are different types of doubles. Also in module eight, there is also work with defenses. Briefly about defenses. I didn't feel comfortable going to this show. They invited me a year ago and I agreed. I just couldn't say no. That's why I told yes, I promised. And I didn't want to say no because they would think all kinds of stuff about me. So this was a defense. Something what helped her years ago to survive through the trauma doesn't serve her that great today. She cannot say no when obviously she doesn't want to be at this show. So obviously it's my word. I don't know. Looks like it doesn't serve her well, this defense. When Karen builds up enough strengths, she might let us know, she might report that she can deal with her pain and other emotions without taking substances, numbing herself. So before working on trauma triangle roles, also a great idea to check up with her through doubling. I've done a lot of work. I'm so happy that I'm alive right now. I could be dead with drugs, eating disorders, trauma that I had, dirty secrets that I carried during my life. How did I survive? I feel strong and confident, confident enough right now to do the further work. I would like to move forward to do the healing work. Let's go back to her story. What do we know about it from the media? In 2002, suicide attempt. After suffering from chronic depression, she went to coma after overdosing on sleeping pills. She left no note, but she was rescued going back 2001 interview for a TV show that was erased. So at this interview, she accused her fashion bosses and famous people from that time on sexual harassment and abuse. She accused her father and a close family friend on being molested from early childhood. 
the host of this TV show interview told she was in a very sensitive psychological state and parents blamed all her troubles on drugs. Then after this TV show was all the TV show was erased, she repeated exactly all the same details at the interview for the magazine. And then she got to a psychiatric clinic with diagnosis of depression, anxiety, and delirium, and stayed in the clinic for five months. At the interview, she stated, they wanted to do prostitute from me. I was pumped with drugs. I'll double for her today. I was pumped with drugs. It was big, black, painful hole I was in. I didn't see the solution any solution. Nobody could help me. It was very painful and it is still painful. Though today I can deal with that. During one of the group sessions with Karen, we can offer to do trauma timeline. Fantastic Tian Dayton's method. Please check out the interview on the full technique so you can learn how to do that. It's based on floor checks. So Karen today is almost 53. Karen would be going over her timeline. She might need support. She might need to hold someone's hand, for instance, the group leader hand. Okay, let's say I am the, the group leader, so I will be holding her hand and we will be going over that. Okay, today and step backward on the timeline. 2002, suicide attempt. 2001, interview, going backward. 1982 to 1972, childhood. I personally, Anna, have two concerns from this story. In 2001, when she was doing this interview, what made her speak up at that moment? You have to do a lot of internal stamina to do that. Did she have support? I mean, as a human being, like another human being support, therapist, friends, or that was the support was drugs, which made her feeling brave at the moment and then crush. So this is the question. And my second biggest concern is her childhood. What was happening at her household at her early childhood? Working with trauma with therapeutic spiral model, it uses the trauma roles and they are similar to Karpman's drama triangle, victim, perpetrator, and rescuer. In TSM, they came up with another roles. And instead of rescuer, there is the role which called abandoning authority. So originally, it is like our internalized roles. Originally, they all are external roles. It's our mother and our father, and this is what we internalize. So abandoning authority is the role of the person who was abandoning earlier. Abandoning in the traumatic event, usually after the traumatic event, and does not help. For instance, in the case of child abuse, when father is abusing the child and mother acts like nothing is happening and she turns around and acting like nothing is happening, everything is okay, ignoring the needs of the child. Sometimes the child is telling that and mother is ignoring that, acts like nothing is happening. The child internalizes this role and then later, this is internal role that is ignoring own self adult needs. For instance, young woman that is sexually abused by her boss has internal abandoning authority role, originally mother figure, that is ignoring own self needs, ignoring own healthy voices inside. So originally that is mother figure. It is important in this work to distinguish this voice and this role of abandoning authority. So how did it work at that moment that right now, me personally ignoring my own needs, abandoning my own needs myself, what do I do as my mother did at that moment, right? That's what is important. He provides you the, the best contracts. He cares about you. He loves you. Well, daughter, your father cares about us. He cares about you. He loves you. Your daddy is the best. Look at the dress he bought for you. He loves you. I guess 
Karen had and have to deal with a lot in her life. Trauma, eating disorders, substance use, and others. Post-traumatic growth. Is the theory about the growth that is happening because of trauma and after trauma. Internal growth that people tell that they have after trauma only happens with people who have the trauma and they tell that there is some sort of transformation, positive transformation. This theory was developed by Richard Tedeschi and Lawrence Calhoun in the mid of 1990s. And this is theory that Kate Hudgens in with therapeutic spiral model uses a lot in their model. On post-traumatic roles and on the stage, on post-traumatic stage, on clinical map, right, it's third stage, they use transformational roles. And I would like to speak about one of them. In TSM model, they developed the role of sleeping awakening child. And when I was looking for this Karen's show with the dolls, I thought that her doll would be playing great role of the sleeping awakening child. And what is the role is people during the traumatic event, during trauma, there is a little piece, internal role is this child, which individual puts to sleep. So then later, when it is safe enough and good enough, then this child can wake up and look around and start to live again. And it's She's a good. gift for you, my dear Karen. But she has no dress. No, she never wears a dress. Thank you very much. I wish I would be happy. I don't know much about Karen, though I have feeling that she hides a lot behind her smile. I'm not sure she's ready to let her sleeping awakening child to wake up. I can't prove, but it looks like she's done some work and there is still a lot to do. Starting from the beginning stage, working on establishing strengths, neutral observer and other internal supportive roles. I would like to summarize what we spoke about today and what can be used professionally. I showed today doubling. It is the heart of psychodrama. It helps client to tune into self. It helps you to understand others better. Doubling makes unclear situation clear right away, specifically for the person you are doubling for. We spoke about therapeutic spiral model three stages of trauma work and clinical map, including prescriptive roles specifically that roles that are going on the first stage that are prescribed before any touching of the trauma. It's building up strengths, it's building up confidence, it's building up stamina. We've touched a little bit trauma triangle roles and post-traumatic growth roles. Please comment below, how is this story related to your story? If you are psychodramatist, please comment from the psychodrama perspective, what did you notice? And thank you for watching. Oh, also, guys, please share what people's stories you would like to talk about in the next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste. I just realized that it's going to be on June 1st, Karen's birthday. Happy birthday, Karen. Happy 53.